up, everybody? It's the one and only, the game is choice, the game is champion, the one and only DW. And yes, this is Counter Strike. Oh my god, I'm so happy that I'm actually here to actually review Counter Strike with you guys. This is going to be a new series I'm going to try to do. You know, uh, I say a lot of things, it's really hard to get around time to do it, but it's called Revisited. All right, basically where I, I play old school games and I talk about how I loved them or how I hated them or how they just fucking pissed me off. With Counter-Strike dropping, hopefully, Global Offensive sometime this year for the Xbox 360, I thought I would pop in Counter-Strike for the original Xbox. Yes, this is an original Xbox game. That's why the graphics are so fucking horrible. But this is one of the true games that is still a port from the old school Counter-Strike. And when I say port, I mean, oh, wow, I actually forgot to buy me some primary and the secondary ammo. Basically meaning that... They took the exact PC game except for the character models and they just changed it around and they just put it in the game. So this is exactly the way the PC game plays except with you know without the sky glitches and the awesome community. I'm playing actually here with a clan called BOTS. Uh, you can leave it in the comments in below if you actually get that fucking joke. But the point is this is an exact port from the PC. I mean there's a little differences like the gun animations and things like that. You know how it looks like a piece of paper. Um, and then, like I said, the character skins. But it plays just like the PC game. I mean, yeah, exactly like it. It's a little harder because you have to use the, the joysticks to actually, you know, buy anything. Here's a little knife battle. Um, but for the most part, it plays just like it. And I'm extremely happy uh, to actually be reviewing it because this is actually one of the most rare games that actually is backwards compatible for the Xbox 360. Meaning, not all the games are actually backwards compatible. But this is actually one of the ones that I'm happy that it is because I get to play Counter Strike every now and then. Problem is the servers are down for the Xbox Live, you know, so there's no more people playing online, so you have to play with this clan called BOTS. Um, but like I said, Counter Strike Global Offensive is coming out for the Xbox 360, so I thought I'd let you guys see how Counter Strike plays for the Xbox and hopefully uh, maybe get some interest for it and. and Know, let the developers of Global Offensive know that hey, if you're gonna put it on the Xbox, you gotta fix some of these glaring issues like buying everything with the with the joystick and stuff. I mean, I get it, you want to keep it true to the PC, and I'm happy about that. But try to figure out some kind of I'm, I mean, I'm not a developer, but try to figure out some kind of way to actually improve it because it's a little the, the beauty of the computer was you could buy it within five seconds. I could buy my grenades, my my H, my my heckler, uh, my my uh, body vest and my, my helmet. I could buy my my all my grenades like I said I wanted. Uh, my my Desert Eagle. I could buy my bow pulp. I could buy everything within the five seconds of me getting in the match. Here it's extremely hard to do it in uh, this port because like you see right here, you know I have to go through the whole thing and, and highlight everything. And I mean the only thing that's easy is the joysticks in order to get the ammo. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some sniping. I'm not going to show you in this video. I actually did record it to show you the difference between Call of Duty and Counter-Strike. And the reason why I like Counter-Strike is because it's realistic, all right? Call of Duty is realistic in, on some level, but not as much as, as, as uh, Counter-Strike is. For example, like right here, okay? I'm throwing a grenade. I get hit with my own grenade. I get hit with his grenade, and I get headshot. If this is Call of Duty, I can run. I can take cover. I can get my health back. Not here in, in Counter-Strike, man. You get one health. The minute your health drops, you're done. You're done. There's no running around and getting health back. And I, I think it's in this video. Uh, you'll see it actually. One of the guys actually has like three health. And he's running around trying to avoid the, other, the enemy and start picking them off one by one. That's called strategic placement on maps, dude. Like, you have to actually earn everything you get. And if your health drops, you're done. You have to actually use tactics and use strategies to figure out how to actually defeat the team without getting seen or without getting hit it comes down to skill and it comes down to strategy at the end of the match and that's one of the best parts that people loved about Counter-Strike was that you had to think it wasn't just run get some health back and he says you're the awesomest player in the game you're gonna wind up coming back and just beating everybody one-on-one -on -one, and then you kill that guy and then you get your health back and then you you know do finish off the other guy no if you got three health you're fucked it doesn't matter how good you are you're fucked you have to figure out how to kill off the enemy team and use strategies like if you're a terrorist and you have the bomb you have to plant the bomb and bring the team to you or use as a distraction while you go around and try to kill him from behind i mean it's strategy man and there's no auto lock one as you see right here i'm, I'm spraying to try to, to try to get him because i couldn't figure out how to zoom in on the xbox you know with my bow pop but i was doing pretty well you know with with my no scoping but the, the point that i'm making is that everything here in counter-strike is is tactics it's strategy it, there's no 
there's no uh, like sniping and the reason why I made the sniping video which uh, I'm gonna be putting up in a couple of days is to show you guys there's no no scoping you can no scope but it, sh it takes skill to no scope it's not like you know the quick scope in Call of Duty or anything like that no the minute you take two steps forward your, your scope is thrown off and that's the beautiful part about it when you scope when you no scope with this there is no reticule in Call of Duty you still have the reticule the no scope people in in uh, Counter-Strike there is no reticule you actually have to point the barrel of the gun at your enemy and since your character holds it sideways you have to point it sideways in order to no scope there's a lot of skill involved in this and I'm really really happy that Counter-Strike is coming out I'm so fucking happy I just wanna cry because <laughs> I've been waiting so long to get back to the true first person shooter which is Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike is the reason why the shooters are the way they are these days. And like you can see right here, this is strategy. Okay, I see him chasing one of the one of the uh, the BOTS members up the hill. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to cut him off. But then I figured, you know what? There's one more guy left. And as you see there, you know he kills my guy. I'm like, you know what? He's at the bomb site. He's gonna plant. And sure enough, what it is. So I finish him off. Uh, I trust the, the you know my, my teammate to finish off the BOTS member and I'm gonna defuse the bomb now I'll show you something here that in Call, of, in Call of Duty you can't do if you take your eyes off that bomb it stops diffusing Call of Duty you could capture a point whatever uh, plant the bomb you can look all around while you're doing that no this is realistic and this is what I love about Counter-Strike this is the true and I got the message there from my member alright that he killed the guy sector's clear this is the true game alright so, as always, guys, my two latest videos are here. Check them out. Subscribe, rate, comment. Let me know what you think about Counter-Strike and how happy you are about Global Offensive. Until next time, this has been the one and only, the game of choice of Game of Champion, DDW. Game over, bitches.